Marksmanship means more than hitting a target. Sergeant First Class Chad Francis, Missouri National Guard State Marksmanship Coordinator, says soldiers and airmen should go back to the basics to master marksmanship. You got to dry fire, you've got to practice. There's no need to go out and, you know, shoot a million bullets a day. Most of my practice is done dry firing in my basement or at the armory, you know, when we got downtime at drill. Sergeant James Whitener, team leader, Bravo Company, first of the 138th Infantry Regiment, says marksmanship skills help reduce stress in his daily life. Just concentrate. I mean, there's stresses in everyday life. Basically, things how you deal with them. I deal with mine mainly just by breathing, focusing on what I need to do, what I need to accomplish, and helping out the team. Sergeant First Class Francis also said marksmanship skills for both combat and non-combat soldiers are paramount during deployments. Every soldier's a rifleman, and it, that's that's a basic skill. You have to move, shoot, and communicate. And if you you can't do that, you can't survive in combat because once Again, muscle memory, once the bullets start flying, you can't think about how do I put this weapon on fire, how do I point it at the target, how do I line the sights up, it all has to be muscle memory. Before he joined the infantry, Sergeant Whitener found out firsthand the importance of marksmanship skills during deployment. My first deployment in Iraq, I was a non-combat MOS and still took fire and returned fire. So it doesn't matter what your role is, there's a good possibility you might see combat and you need to be prepared for it. Reporting for the Missouri National Guard Public Affairs Office, I'm Specialist Adam Winters.